What is up guys? This is Roman. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the perfect drift setup. It works for pretty much any car that has pretty close to 50-50 weight ratio. So you don't want to be using any mid-engine cars or any rear engine cars for this. See right here this one is mid-engine. You can see by in the diagram next to the S1 class and all-wheel drive you can see how the engine this one is the engine's in the front, and in this one, the engine is in the middle. So that's why it's called mid engine. So you want something with the engine in the front, like all of these cars. These are all my drift cars. So I'm going to go over how to make the perfect drift tune. So we're going to go up here, look for Nissan. There it is. I'm going to look for, there it is, 240SX. They're also fairly cheap, except this one. I don't know why the hell they're selling it for that much. That's that's ridiculous. We could just buy like this fourteen thousand dollar one. Just buy it out. Oh. All right. So now we're gonna go to custom upgrade. If it's locked. Who cares? All right. So first step. I don't know what the stock engine in this thing is, but um. So inline six is good, good drift engine and a V8. So let's see, there's a V8. So you could do inline six or V8. And let's see, this is 166. This is 260 extra horsepower. So I think we're gonna go with the V8. Don't want to change that. Um, okay, so if there is option for twin turbo and single turbo, you want to go with single turbo. But if there isn't, then just go with twin turbo. And then Rocket Bunny Kit. Basically every 240SX has it, so yeah, might as well throw it on. Also makes the car lower. Um, the wing. I always go with the ducktails. The ducktail wings are the sickest. Alright, so we want sport tire compound. You don't want race because that's too much grip for the car. I do street or sport. And you don't want to change the front. So you don't want to make them like fat. You want to make the rear as fat as possible. You can do the front like one, but that's it. Uh, wheels don't matter. All the wheels don't actually do anything. They're just for style. So I think we're gonna go with these boys. And then, this is just a personal preference. You don't have to do this, but you can make those wheels huge. That's what I always do, it's pretty sick looking. And then, yeah. We want to get race clutch, race transmission, race driveline, race differential, the race brakes. We want to get drift suspension. We want to get the race anti roll bars. You'll see why later. Uh, you can reinforce the chassis if you want. I usually do uh, reduce the weight. So, this thing so far is looking pretty mean. Um, Let's see where we're at for horsepower. All right, so we're probably about 500 horsepower. So we can crank it up. I usually just do bits and pieces. Get that race twin turbo in there. Uh, get that race flywheel. Street cooling, or yeah, um, race engine block. So this puts it at a little over 700 horsepower. Yeah, 750, about. And that's looking good, so go ahead and buy it. But I would try to get your horsepower in between 500 to 700, uh, depending on what car you're using, it doesn't really matter. Just 500 to 700, if you want to go overboard, you can if you want. All right, so what I'm going to be going over is the default settings for a drift build. You can tweak them slightly. It's you don't have to 100% follow this layout because all cars are different. But it's pretty close. Um, I do this for every single one of my cars, and they all drift amazingly. I get really good drift runs. So tire pressure. You want the front to have more pressure than the rear. I usually keep that at 36 and put this at 33. I don't mess with the gears. I usually mess with the gears, but no, I'm not messing with the gears for this. That's what I mean because just the gears are really complicated and you don't want to screw things up so just don't touch the gears 
the alignment. So the front stock is negative 5, the rear is negative 1.5. You want to make that negative 0.5. You can also, if you're like a new drifter, you can put it at 0. And for the toe, you want it to be 1.5, the rear negative 0.5. Leave the front caster as is. It helps with uh, camber. Okay, so for anti-roll bars, if you have the racing anti-roll bars installed like you were supposed to, the calculation, okay, so there's the calculation. All right, let's talk about that. So you want to go to my cars and click on your car, and then you want to toggle the stats. I'm using a controller. It's if you just move the right, tr the right stick, and you can see my front displacement is 53%. So you want to remember that number, 53%. All right, so the equation is max minus min in parentheses times whatever the displacement is which is my front displacement was 53 percent and then plus the minimum so the max go over let's see I'll put these two so the max for this, I'll just show you, but it's the same with every single race anti-roll bars, but everything else is different. Um, so it's 65 and then 1. So you're going to do the max minus the minimum, so that gets you 64. And then multiply that by your displacement. So my displacement is 53%, so it's 0.53. So it's 64 times 0.53. And then you add 1, but you add one because you add the minimum. So I got 34.92. So I want the front displacement, or the front anti-roll bar stuff, to be almost 35. Oh, I went too high. So 34.92. That's pretty close. And then the rear. So because my front displacement is 53%, that means my rear displacement is 47%. So that's 0.47. So I do the same calculation. So I do 64 times 0.47. And then add 1 to it. So I get about 31.08. So then I make that 31.05. That's pretty damn close. All right, for springs, these are always different on every single car. So all right, my max is 1,369.5. And then we want to subtract that by the minimum. So then we go see what the minimum is. The minimum is 273.9. All right, so we get 1,095.6. So then you take that and multiply it by 0.53. And we get 580. And then we want to add the minimum again. So you add the 273.9. And we get 854.54. That's pretty close. Then we do the same calculation. Except multiply it by 0.47. Obviously, these numbers will be different for you. So now you just want to multiply it by the rear. And then don't forget to add the minimum again. So I get 788.832. That's pretty close. And then the right height, um, you want the front two or three ticks higher than the rear. Let's do three. And then for the damping, T, and then three is the minimum, so that's 17. Just double check, yeah. So that's 17 times 0.53 plus three. So I get about 12. So that's pretty much stock, just a little under, just a little less than stock. And then we want to do the same thing. We're going to do 17, except times the rear displacement, which is 0.47, and add 3, and we get about 11. So that's pretty close. That's like 10.99, so let's uh, I'll just leave it at 11. Okay, so now the bump stiffness is exactly half of what the rebound stiffness was. 
So for the front, as you can see, it's 12. So then this one should be 6. And the rear is 11. So this should be exactly 5.5. Uh, Just like that. Don't mess with the arrow. Uh, brake. We want the pressure to be 135. Just gives you a little extra braking power. And then for the differential, acceleration 100%. And then deceleration 70%. So this is a perfect setup. Right. Yep, sounds like a V8. Dude right here. Alright, yeah, this already feels like a drift car. So, as you can see, it is, a, like, this is, it's not bad. Of course, with gear ratios, it would be better, so I don't redline as much. But this is a pretty solid drift setup. It works for drifting. It looks like 3 is going to be my best gear to drift in. You want to find the right gear to drift in. Usually it's 3rd or 4th gear. On some cars with only 4 gears, it's uh, going to be usually 2nd gear. Let's see if what we can crank out of this. Not very good. Yeah, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but the car drifts, that's just user error. That's just second. Actually, I think it'll beat my record for this Porsche, so I don't know. So we'll see. But I'm pretty sure this beat it. Uh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> that did not beat. Yeah, my higher score was almost 70,000, but... Yeah, this is a great drift setup. As you can see, he is drifting. Just fine. We're going to uh, check the horsepower. So, let's see. It should be about 749 at its peak. Yep, it is. So, yep, this is sick. 